Dude, I wish they had this weather, like, I don't know. I wish you could toggle this on and off, like, if you could keep it on. I, I don't know. Maybe, like, specific lobbies just for, like, heavy rain. <laughs> heavy storms. Uh, it just gives me a really, like, survival-esque feeling to the game where things are not as clear, you know, it's not all bright and sunny. I, I don't know. What do, you, what do you guys think? I, I think the whole weather effects are amazing. I'd ra rather it that way than, you know, all sunny. Anyways, maybe, maybe I just like it dark and gloomy. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> all right, here we go. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now, shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm going to give you a King Breaker build that can get you up to 82 rounds in the magazine. However, my primary has 76 rounds, so I wanted to advertise that. But you can get it up to 82, and I'll show you that with my secondary weapon. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But without further ado, we are going to jump straight into some PvP gameplay. We'll come back here for the build breakdown, and then we will do some PvE gameplay at the end. So um, without further ado, roll that footage. Let's go. Run. Where are they at? Now don't just sit there, bro. They're going to push the spawn. Come on, man. Oh, oh, speaking of which, there's one right here on me. Ooh, defender drone. Oh, oh. About to get away from my seeking mind to hit him. Oh, oh, he's still up. He's still up. Oh, my God. How's he still? Oh, he went for a sticky. Almost got him. Almost got him. Got him. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no, there's someone else. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're in our spawn. Aw. Oh. Going right side. Oop, one right here. Okay, down. Another one on me. I see him. Hold on. Down. Oh, yeah. Oop, stinger hive, watch out. Ooh, right here on the van. Oh, he's almost down. He's almost down. We got him. We got him. Down. Good job. Good job. All right, I'm going to get the revive. Patch yourself up, soldier. You're still in the fight. Let's go. Oh, no, no. There's a... No. <laughs> no. All right, cut it there short and sweet. There you go. You can see it. Very tanky with a lot of bullets, but let's go ahead and go into the build breakdown. Here we go. So this is your King Breaker build. It's actually a magazine size build. Now, the reason I have two King Breakers is I wanted to show you right here. Boom. You can actually have 82 rounds in the magazine. However, the one that I'm showing you um, in use is going to be this one right here with 76 rounds in the magazine. Uh, reason being is this one is expertise level 17, and it also has damage to targets at a cover on it. So I'm actually getting more base damage with multiplicative damage on top of that. So it's going to hit a hell of a lot harder than this one just with mag size. But I wanted to show you that it does go up to 82 rounds because you can hold one in the chamber and then 81 in the magazine. Um, but yeah, there you go. Now, starting off at the top, we are using the Technician Specialization. Reason being is I'm using the King Breaker. So to proc my perfect flatline talent, I am using the Linked Laser Pointer. Now, you can only unlock this uh, attachment by uh, while using the technician specialization, so you have to use that specialization. Now, if you want to use a different weapon other than the King Breaker, you're more than welcome to do so, and you could also, you know, change your specialization if you do that as well. But using the King Breaker with perfect flatline, using that linked laser pointer is the number one way to do it. And I mean, there, there's nothing more to say, really. This is probably the hardest hitting assault rifle in the game with this amplified damage coming from the talent. Um, now, for my secondary and sidearm, you can use whatever you want. Um, I typically have the Slayer as my secondary, but I did want to show you the uh, Kingbreaker with the 81 rounds. Uh, 82 if you keep it in the chamber. And then we also have the Busy B for my sidearm, but again, you can use whatever you want. Now, for PvP... I stick with a Explosive Seeker Mine and a Jammer Pulse 
Jammer Pulse to get rid of their skills and Seeker Mind to not only injure them, get them on bleed, but it can also track your enemies and let you know if there's any enemies nearby. Now, whenever I go into PvE, let's see, I'll probably switch to a Revive Hive to help out my teammates. And then I'll probably go with like a Defender Drone just to have a little bit of fun. Now, as far as the build is concerned, with it being three Brazos and three True Patriot, you're going to get blue core attributes just as a default. Now, you can grind these out and make them red core attributes, but if you're just grinding this gear just right off the bat, you're going to get those blue armor cores. So, with that being said, you'll get up to right around 1.9 million armor, but remember, I am spec'd a little bit into the expertise in each of these items. So it gives me a little bit more armor. So you might be sitting at like 1.8 million, um, you know, before everything's said and done. Now, looking at the build itself with uh, three pieces of True Patriot, we'll start with those, the gear set bonuses. So we get 30% ammo capacity, which is okay. I mean, we're not too worried about ammo capacity. Let's be real. It's all about the magazine size. So you have to run the three-piece to get that 30% magazine size. And then for the Brazos, for those brand set bonuses, um, we get 10% skill haste. We get a skill tier, which does help out the Seeker Mine and that Jammer Pulse. It will also help out the Defender Drone. Um, as far as the Revive Hive, eh, it's all right. You don't really need skill tiers on that. It just does the job for you. It picks up your teammates. Um, but then you want that three piece as well. So you get the 20% magazine size from this brand set as well. So then you're up to 50% magazine size. Now, if you were to run magazine size on your weapon, you would go from 50% to 62.5% because you can get up to 12.5 magazine size on your Kingbreaker. So that's up to you. I chose to stick with the damage to targets out of cover just because with this being as tanky as it is, you need as much damage as possible. So running this with the linked laser pointer and damage to targets out of cover is probably your best bet. Um, and linking that with the spotter talent on the chest piece and vigilance on the backpack just to give you as much damage as you can. Um, let me think here. Another good substitute for the backpack would be maybe getting rid of vigilance for like companion or adrenaline rush, depending on how you want to play this. Um, I went with Vigilance just because RNG gave me this, and then I switched to Crit Chance for that attribute to get the double crit. However, um, I do kind of want to use this with a Companion and that Defender Drone and see how it would go like there, uh, like that, because running as tanky as you are, um, Vigilance, as soon as you get hit with any sort of damage, that goes away. So you have to play it smart while using this talent, but you also get the most damage from this talent at 25%. Now, using the spotter with perfect flatline is a match made in heaven because you get the amplified from the chest piece. You also get the amplified from the weapon. Now, the uh, spotter also gives you skill damage. So if, say, you know, you aim your weapon at a target and it spots them, pulses them, you could throw out your Seeker Mine, and your Seeker Mine will do more damage. So try to play that way as well. It'll, it's also good for marking your enemies. And then um, another thing to note is I am using the Picaro's Holster because this gives me two core attributes. So I have a blue for the core, and then I also get that 15% weapon damage at the bottom. So this really does help out my Kingbreaker's base damage, and it gets me over that 100k. I'm sitting at 101k at Expertise 17. Now you can get this up to Expertise 21, so there is room to get this around like say 105k with the 1.9 million armor. So you could, you know, stretch out a little bit more damage from this build. Um, but all right, so that was an overview. Let's uh, deep dive into each of these. So True Patriot Mask. This one has max armor for the core, max headshot damage, and crit chance. Now, just so you note, um, I have crit chance and headshot on this entire build. Reason being, I'll go to the stats. I wanted 50% crit chance with as much headshot as possible, and I'm sitting at just under 122 for the headshot damage. Reason being is you're so tanky and you have so many bullets in your magazine that if you're just aiming for the head, these enemies are going to go down really quick. 
and then you have enough ammo in that magazine to kill two or three enemies with one magazine. So that's going to be pretty cool to show you um, here in a second. Um, let's see here. So that was True Patriot. So let's do the True Patriot gloves. Max armor, max headshot for the attribute. And then the True Patriot knee pads, max armor, max headshot. Now I have three pieces of Brazos, starting with the backpack. Um, the backpack, I have that blue core, but I'm at 154K on the armor, so I am missing 15,000 armor. So you could get a little bit tankier. And then I'm also missing 1.7% on that crit hit damage, so you could hit just a little bit harder as well. But I do have max crit chance with a max crit chance mod, and that talent vigilance, which increases my weapon damage by 25%. Going to the chest piece, Brazos, max armor for the core, max crit chance with headshot at 6.6. .6, so I'm missing, what's that, 3.4% uh, headshot. Um, so I could get that up a little bit higher, and then I have max crit chance for the mod. And then spotter, which amplifies my total weapon damage and skill damage to all pulsed enemies. And then finally, the last piece of the gear, the Picaro's holster. This is the creme de la creme, the, you know, the whipped cream, the cherry on top, the sprinkles, wh whatever it is. You, you know what I'm talking about. Now, this is the named uh, Brazos holster that gives you that weapon damage for a attribute. Now, this one has max armor with that weapon damage and also max headshot for the normal attribute. And there you go. Now, with all that said and done, with these stats, you're looking at 101k for the weapon damage, 40.4k for PvP, 50 crit chance, 55 crit damage, and 121 on that headshot. Don't forget about the health damage at 21%, and then my damage targets at a cover. Now, for the offensive tab, I'm at 42% all weapon damage bonus and 30% AR damage bonus. So every time I'm using the Kingbreaker, I'm sitting at 72% damage bonus total starting off. Gear talents to go with my perfect flatline. I have Vigilance and Spotter. For the defensive tab, we're eh, just about 1.9 million armor, 339k for the health, and then 10% for the explosive and hazard protection. And that's due to my watch level, so here's your disclaimer for all my build videos. I am watch level 3812. That means all of these attribute boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. So if you are at or above shade level 1000, you'll have the same thing maxed out as I do. So just copy and paste my build, and you'll get the same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1000, some of these attribute boxes will not be maxed out 50 of 50. Therefore, when you go to copy and paste my build, some of your numbers might be a little bit lower. It's okay. This is still a really fun build to use. It's unique. I mean, it's a magazine size build, so, you know, it's its own thing. Um, but just note that your character is min-maxed at shade level 1000. So once you hit 1000, you can use whatever build I have and get the same numbers. Just because I'm 3800 doesn't make me better than a 1000. And uh, if someone's 20,000, that, that doesn't make them better than my 3,800. You know what I mean? Um, it's all the same. The only thing that changes above shade level 1,000 is your health. And there you go. This is my magazine size build with spotter, perfect flatline, king breaker. All day. All day. Now we're going to do some heroic countdown for the gameplay. And then we're going to get out of here. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. You know the deal. And uh, let's get into it. Invite to another agent's group. Receive. All right. And we're just going to join Invite a to random group. countdown group. This is going to be on Heroic. And uh, let me think. What do I need to farm for? Um, Let's farm for... Hmm. I'm going to do mods. Let's do gear system mods. All right. Here we go. Countdown in five, four... Three, two, one, let's go. Hit that like. And we're off. So you saw the PvP gameplay. It's all right. You know, you're at 1.9 million armor, so it's a support build. You're not going to be, you know, KD King with 1.9 million armor. But it is fun to use. I like it um, whenever you're facing off against someone and they can't kill you with one magazine and then they go to reload and you're still just ba 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 ba. Uh, they start to freak out. They'll combat roll, the they'll try to strafe, but then they die. And that's because of that magazine size. Bruh. It's pretty, uh, pretty damn OP. They control the power. They control 
hold this All right, here we go. Countdown. Let's go. I'm looking for some uh, pulse we resistance mods. Max out. All right, here we go. Reactor unstable. Emergency lockdown protocols activated. 15 minutes lockdown. We will see. We will see. Um, that looks like close uh, weapon damage for one of the um, terminals. Ooh. He hit me with three shots and almost killed me. Where's my team at? Oh, the other guy's sleeping back there. We got him, we got him, we got him, come on. Got him, good job. Good job. Keep it going. Let me kill this waypoint. There we go. All right, come on, give us something good. We have enemy hazard resistance. Okay. I mean, I'm not really running status or hazard, dude. Look at the other team's health. Oh my god, we gotta hurry. Come on, guys. We have got to get their back. One of them's down. Oh, what the hell. Thank you. Go, go, go. Alright, explosive damage. Okay, I guess that's alright. System curtailed. No way. Wow, he survived that? Wow, bro. Oh, there's another hunter right here. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is chaos. Are there three hunters right here? Oh my gosh. All right, he's down. There are three hunters right here. Oh my gosh. Here's the other one right here. Dude. They never killed their first hunter. So they just brought all three of them here together. That's deadly, bro. We'll get them. You know, I'm hitting for 760. That's pretty much smaller. Oh, bro, he's dead. Um, Dad's dude. Yo, come on. This might be one of the sloppiest hunter kills I've had in a while. There we go. Jeez. Everyone's going down. Okay. Now, let's do containments right here. Yo, they didn't even hit their uh, multiplier. Dang. Don't worry. Here we come to save the day. All right, go to containment, guys. Come on, go to containment. It's gonna be one of those, huh? Shade tech detected. Come on, guys, go! Like, dude. Oh, mgs. It's like uh, they don't know there's a timer. We're gonna run out of time with all this uh, lily gagging. Is that what they say? All this lily gagging. Lolly gagging? Is it lolly gagging? Lily gagging. There we go. Right. Every time you enter one of these, you need to uh, find your chest. So 700k around about for headshots. Oh, chest is up here. High risk target detected. Too shabby. Oh! Immediate medical assistance needed. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah. 
Ooh, 875 on a headshot. Dang. Get his bed. Ten minutes to lock down. Bed. There we go. All right, he's going down. Nice. Good job. Good job. All we have to do is clear the area. We're good. We've already hit the chest. There's one way back here in the corner, guys. Come on. Way back here in the corner. Go. Area right. secure. Moving on. Let's do uh, cooling tower. Come on, cooling tower. Let's go. Run. That's what I mean by the whole time thing. Because we still have to run to the next one and then run to the next one. Uh-oh, someone highlighted the other uh, encounter. That might split the group up. Uh-oh. I typically try to find the closer one to the uh, main objective. That way, as soon as we complete it, it's a little bit faster. Let's hope uh, the team does that. All right, what's this one? Neutralize Warhounds. Okay. It's not bad some ammo. I'm going to switch to a jammer. Alright. And let me see. Did my team split up? Dude, there's still people way back in... Oh my gosh. Oosh. It's a timed event, man. It's a timed event. I'm just going to run for the objective. I mean, I have to wait for my team to come here. The only thing about solo queuing something like this is you're not going to get the best team sometimes. Sometimes you're just going to get some random people that are just trying to farm. Vital signs critical. Oop. Grenade almost got me. That one did. Almost have it. Other side. 1.1 million hitting su stupid hard. Oh, that was because it was health with my health damage. Nice. That's pretty sick. All right, now that my team's here, let's do it. Let's do it. Ba-boom. All right. Oh. That was 770 on a headshot. Gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. able to access the reactor. Six minutes. And we missed the chest here too, but whatever. We gotta go. We gotta go. And we still have eight people, so that's good. But this has been, I mean, I wouldn't say struggle bus because it hasn't been a struggle. It's just slower than I'd like. Just because uh, now we have, you know, we're going to have less than five minutes to complete the uh, the last objective. And what is it? Uh, decrypt safeguard protocol. So I believe that's the, uh, that's the one where it shocks everyone, right, on the floor? I'm pretty sure. We'll see. Um, 
Oh, come on, guys. Agent, you've reached the reactor. And with the uh, True online. Patriot uh, addition to your now ammo capacity, in, you, the you can hold 1,200 rounds. Evacuate the facility. Five minutes to lock down. Proceed immediately to your nearest exit. Hold I'm going, man. I'm going. Oh, okay, this one's even easier. So I could hit this next one, and then someone could be on the other side getting ready for the switch, and then I could jump down, kill the generator. They run across, hit the other switch, and then I run and hit the other generator. We're done. Oh, damn, bro. Immediate medical assistance what was that? needed. I don't even have a med kit. I'm gonna go down. Oh, I don't have a medi. And there's no type of heals. Um, I'm gonna be froggy. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> Ugh, I don't have any armor kits. Good work to crypt the protocols. Alright, you need to remove those controls to get the reactor back online. Oh, hit the switch. Dude, no one's there. Oh my gosh. No one's there. I'm gonna have to go hit the switch. been a struggle bus with this team. Seems that way now. Oh, get it, hoof. While I heal up. There go. Nice. Almost done. I need you to destroy the whatever the hell that thing is called. You'll need to run the sequence twice. And then they do that, and I'll hit the switch up here. Come on. Alright, now hit the next generator. Rogue defender drone Come on guys. Detected. Dude, no one's hitting it. Come on. Detected. There we go. Great work, Agent. Now you just need to restart the reactor and keep any hostiles from knocking it right, offline. We'll stay or here and then it's clear the area and we're done. We're, in, we're cutting it close okay. though. I mean we're we're at what two and a half minutes. Cutting it close. I mean, if you guys want to kill the ads, now's the time to kill all the ads. So we just have to stand here for a couple more seconds. Oh, behind me. Oh, that's the boss with some flame bullets. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oop. Why did it jump into the chat? There we go. Acting all sorts of crazy. There we go. Oh, come on. Minute 40. Kill the enemies. And we did it. Good job, guys. Good job. Good work, Agent. You saved GGs. the plane. Move to extraction point. Oop. Didn't pick up the Shoot off a flare so Torres knows you're ready to go. And we have two people running coyotes, so that's good. Oof. We're doing good, guys. <laughs> it's not the easiest run in the world, but we're doing good. It's solid. Just need to stay together, focus fire. We got this. Okay. And the extraction is 150 away. I mean, it's right here, so... We have plenty of time. Just group up, focus fire. We got this. Kill the hunters because the hunters have the best loot. And once we do that, we'll be good. Come on. System disrupted. Oop. Heavily armed hostiles detected. Good job, good job. Okay, we 
gotta turn around and go to the right. Oh snap, there's another one right here. shot with a grenade launcher oh and all my teammates ran oh no I'm just oh no I'm gonna sit here and bleed out we'll see and they Let's picked up the other guy Let's see if we can make this a solid run come on don't go down good cat don't go down you guys got this oh thank you so much Get out of there. Oh my gosh. It's getting bad. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. This magazine is empty. I'll provide all. Oh, no. Get out of there. Nice work. You Yo. stabilized the power grid in this region. Did 600 million damage. <laughs> ah, well, there's your magazine size build. I hope everyone enjoyed it. That was kind of fun. Area, not gonna detected. lie. Um, it's a little different. It's not your meta build, but it was pretty fun nevertheless. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. You know the deal. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone. Peace.